Hello, what's up YouTube? This is Michelle again with another video. And I had a happy Memorial Day weekend. I don't know about you guys. I had my son's birthday and everything. So it's been great. And um, today's subject, I just want to touch on abortion. Um, there's been a lot of arguments and uh, everything. And there's women that are getting up and, you know, trying to fight for the rights of abortion and everything. But um, I only agree with abortion if... The woman has a tubal pregnancy for example if she has a tubal pregnancy or she has a disease that can't be cured or or something in that kind of mix you I mean HIV for example maybe that's an exception um, I don't necessarily agree with de deformed children being aborted either you know, I, I really don't because there's so many people that, that come out with missing limbs and they are they are such good people, you know, and they do contribute to society in a lot of ways if they're taught properly, you know, they 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 become, you know, a part of society and um I do have some Down syndrome family members on my husband's side of the family and I have to say those people are very productive. They are. And they um they crack jokes, they cook, they clean, they dance, they, they, you know, help the party get set up. I mean, they're very productive people. I mean, there's different levels of Down syndrome. I understand there's the, the vegetable kind and then there's the ones that, you know. But, I mean, let's just face it and be the fact. If you ask one of these women that have an abortion, you know, that agree with abortion because of Down syndrome, you're going to ask them, if somebody offered you a pet monkey, would you take it? Because, you know, if somebody that is a vegetable that can only smile and laugh and, you know, gra maybe grab a spoon or fork or, or, or maybe not even hardly feed themselves, but still, they're, they're interacting with you. I mean, would they take a monkey instead? I mean, that's just an example. They're putting, that's just an example of what I'm saying, okay? So, I'm, I'm a totally against aborting a child just because they have a, maybe a missing limb or they have Down syndrome or something like that. Totally against it because... I've known Down syndrome people and I've been, you know, around people that are, you know, had their disabilities. They are people and they deserve a chance to live too, okay? So, um, this is part of life. I mean, sometimes we have uh, children that, that have disabilities or, or deformation or, or whatever, but this is part of life. This is what God put us here for. We're supposed to be merciful and, you know, to take the life of a child because you know they're going to be what they think is a burden that that's like being that's that's like being a tyrant okay that's that's not a good thing all right but I'll, however I'm not going to sit up here and bash on women that have already had abortions because you know everybody makes mistakes and I think that's another reason why this abortion thing is going on so is because a lot of women have actually had an abortion and they don't want to feel like they did something wrong. They're afraid of facing they're afraid of facing the fear of knowing that they might have done something wrong. Maybe they've been atheist or they've been practicing religion or whatever. But yes, it is a religious matter. And it's not just a religious matter, it's a human moral matter anybody can tell you that I mean even if you are not religious and you don't believe in Christianity I mean it's supposed to be a nature it's a natural thing that we're born with is to care for people even if they're disabled not to just kill them I mean if you want to be like the Native American tribes or the African tribes back in the Stone Age you know then you that's just, you might as well go ahead and put yourself on that stool because that's you know basically their their ways of believing you know was to do that to, to children that were like that so I'm not saying that they did that there's probably a lot of Native Americans and African American or I mean I'm getting my tongue twisted I've been lost all words there's probably a lot of ancient tribes in the past that had children that were like this and did not put their children down so I'm just giving you some thought about that. I mean, there is no reason why a child needs to have their life taken. You know, if you if someone out there has already done that, don't feel guilty about it. Just move on. But just know that it's not something that you need to support. And yes, you need to talk to God and build a relationship with Him. 
and um, there's been many women that have claimed that they have felt like they had been forgiven because maybe they had saw this child maybe in some dream or something like that and um, however I am going to say the Bible does say that God knew you before you were born he knew you before you were in the womb he, he knew your spirit so you know children do have spirits and I know this for personal fact I've never had an abortion but I'm not gonna lie I was tempted to have an abortion when I was young I got pregnant when I was very young and the father um, he deserted me and I actually wanted to have the abortion but I didn't have the abortion okay and one of the reasons why he deserted me is because he wanted me to have the abortion so I chose not to have the abortion I chose the child over the man and I would have had that child it would be an adult of course but I miscarried him when he was like six and a half months in my womb but I did have um, a vision of him in my in my sleep one night and I did see his spirit he walked through a field of gold and he walks up to me and um, it was a very beautiful place and he was a grown man when I saw him and I knew it was him when I saw him because he was a spitting image of me and his father except he looked like an angel he was very beautiful and he asked me how come I forgot about him and I you know was so I cried and I was like shocked and I told him I'm so sorry I'll never forget about you again and then I remember waking up from the dream and thinking that I did not even want to leave that place it felt so good when I was there so that is just you know an example of um, how I know children have uh, souls when they're inside the mother's womb okay so however you guys share your thoughts on that I, I do believe a woman has the right if her life by the shadow of a doubt and she knows for 100% for a fact that you know she's not gonna make it meaning that if she's not gonna make it the child's not gonna make it either so that's the only reason I would say it's okay because a lot of women you know they have tubal pregnancies you know you're not gonna make it if you have a tubal pregnancy you know so um, yeah that's my thoughts on that guys I mean I disagree with abortion and I don't see how anyone could um, sit up there and fight so hard for it because it, it's really the question is why are they saying that this is taking away woman's right there's nothing to be in taken away from the woman the women still have all the rights they have they have the right to take birth control they have the right to go to work they have the right to drive they have the right to do everything that most women don't do around this world but they seem to think that just because I can't kill my baby that you've taken some rights for me you know that's just not my thoughts on that okay however I mean I can't say I mean what would I do if I was put in a position where I was pregnant with a child that I knew my life was at risk now depending on the pregnancy if it was a tubal pregnancy I'm not gonna lie I would have to do it I would try to come up with a conclusion on a way to save the baby but I mean there could be a way but I mean there's probably really no way of saving it if it's in the tube it's just gonna kill you and the baby's gonna die as well so y'all have a good night and um, share like and subscribe and happy Memorial Day weekend which is over bye